Hello friends, I just want to give you some uh, ideas and some facts and figures about the HBM BF28 milling machine. So far I know this is exactly the same like the Precision Matthew 25 milling machine. I'm sure this video will be very interesting to you, especially if you want to convert this machine into a CNC. I will talk a little bit about the sizes of the motors and uh, the dimension of the spindles and as well the software I'm using. Well, let's start uh, with the original spindles of the machine. The largest is the spindle of the y-axis and this measures 790 millimeters. The spindle for the x-axis measures 375 millimeters and the z-axis 625 millimeters. The diameter of all three spindles measures 21.9 mm. Unfortunately, these spindles are not very useful for a CNC conversion. The problem is that they have too much backlash. Here you can see that the nut is moving back and forth on the spindle. But you can solve this problem by using ball nut screws. Here you can see the dimension of the individual spindles. 790 mm for the y-axis, 375 mm for the x-axis and 625 mm for the z-axis. The dimension of the screws for x and y is 20 mm and the pitch of the thread is 5 mm. This is the reason why the spindle is called 1605. The Z spindle has a diameter of 20 mm and the pitch of the thread is 5 mm. This is the reason why it's called 2005. Let's have a closer look at the motors. For the X and Y axis I'm using NEMA 34 stepper motors with 4.5 Newton meters. For the very heavy Z-axis I'm using a NEMA 34 stepper motor as well, but with 8.5 Newton meters. There is something special with the stepper motors, they are closed loop stepper motors. This means that they have a sensor in the back, which is monitoring or counting the steps, which makes these motors even more precise. And of course for these motors you need the appropriate drivers. I'm using the HP 860H, which is great for this application. Let's have a quick look inside the control panel. Well, the housing is of an old photovoltaic inverter, but I guess that doesn't matter. To the left and to the right you can see two drivers for the stepper motors and there is another one behind. Here in the front you can see an Arduino Nano, which is a microcontroller. And among other things, it's providing the signals for the drivers. It's connected to the computer via USB cable. Among the main components, there's a transformer and a circuit breaker. Well, let's have a closer look at the dimensions of the machine. The Z-axis can travel about 300 mm from top to bottom. The X-axis can travel a distance of 160 mm. And the y-axis can travel 470 mm from left to right. This is the software I'm using. It's called Estelcam and it's programmed by a German called Christian Knüll. But don't worry, after download you easily can set it to English. I really like the software because it's very easy to learn and to use. Here you can set all the parameter of your machine and you can program your Arduino microcontroller right away from here. You don't need additional software. Just select your end mill. Determine your zero. and create your toolpath. 
Yeah, here we are, ready to mill. If you like this video, just give me a thumb up and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.